Hi, my name is Graham Finney. I'm Chief Analyst at Heavy Reading. And I'm here today with Jim DeMarco, who is Chief Technology Officer at Redney. Jim, welcome. Thank you. Jim, Redney uh, invested in virtualization somewhat ahead of some of its competitors. What, uh, what led you to do that? Well, uh, virtualization was a means to an end, right? It is a business, it is a technology means to a business end. So we really looked at what are the drivers of next new thing for operators. And what we saw was sort of two key things. We had the market entrants who had fairly low, uh, wanted to have fairly low entry, entry cost. Virtualization is a means to that end, you know, using the cloud and putting things on the cloud. That's a key relevant uh, technical model in order to achieve the goal. That was one. The other one, and, and this is for the bigger operators, you had the ability to leverage a new stream, go after new business without having to bring in all the heavy infrastructure you built on your traditional models. And so when we saw that, we realized the way you're going to achieve that goal is not by trying to take all your old infrastructure and try to repurpose it. It's to launch something that's new, faster, easier to use, and so forth. From our perspective, we saw virtualization as that means to that end. What tangible benefits have some of your customers achieved by moving to virtualized variants of the product? Um, two things. One is actually speed. Uh, the idea that I can stand something up without having to do the large acquisition cycle. That's actually one of the key elements. And actually for those who have virtualized even their traditional stack, so we have some very large operations around the world, what they've done is they've virtualized that stack so it's easy for them to expand capacity without having to do an awful lot of uh, massive new infrastructure and so forth. So speed is a, is a major element to it. Virtualization provides lower cost just by the nature of the fact that you've handled the, uh, handled the infrastructure separately and you can do some shared pooling. Not as much as you might think. The really, the, the other key, other real key thing here is the ability to leverage the technology growth on the hardware independently from that on the software, and it's really that's really where the rubber meets the road is where the where you can really develop the software independently of the hardware. Okay, so can you give me some examples of uh, ways in which customers have benefited from moving to virtualization? Sure, one actually relatively well-known one in the industry, Vodafone has gone out and done a lot a lot of stuff around uh, what they call the the VCE environment, you know, and uh, it's a combination of VMware, Cisco, and uh, EMC hardware. They've been trying to use that as a leveraged common pool of resources. This is all private cloud type stuff. They're a major operator, right? Uh, but what they've been doing is using that to manage their IT infrastructure in the back office. What we've done with them as a major supplier for them, their IN services, uh, for example, in Germany, uh, they do common pool of resources on that. We're doing all of their IN services now on a virtualized environment. The thing that touches the network the closest, originally used to say you would never virtualize anything in the network, we're right in with intelligent networking on a virtual stack. That's one example. Another example that might be of some use, uh, some stuff we're doing uh, for the World Cup with OI in Brazil. OI has this uh, model where people are coming in, roaming into Brazil from, out of the, from everywhere around the world for the World Cup. Uh, massive need to be able to handle a lot of new data subscription coming in there and they found a way, working with us on uh, Wi-Fi data access and data offload, uh, all of that done entirely on the cloud. And that one, in fact, is done on public cloud. So it's actually really cool stuff. Okay, so can you give me uh, a couple of specific use cases, you know, particular customers and what they've achieved using virtualization? Yeah, there's, the, frankly, I could spend a lot of time going through the, the laundry list, but let me sort of generalize it maybe. When we're seeing operators look at new revenue line. The idea is I need to be able to get in fast, I need to be able to have lightweight and not use heavy infrastructure. Every single one of these major new revenue streams that we're seeing are coming in as things I need to do lightweight and easy and fast. So monetizing machine-to-machine -machine communications, monetizing the Internet of Things, e-health, all of these different new lines that the operators are looking at, they don't want to try to put in a massive VSS infrastructure because it's just too much complexity for something that's going to be a low margin but very high volume business. That's where we're using this type of technology and it plays well for their business line and it also enables them to get faster to market. Jim, thank you very much. Thank you.